Let's talk about dividing polynomials. And so when we divide polynomials using long division, we're looking at dividing a big polynomial by a binomial, something like 4x squared plus 7x plus 3 divided by x plus 3. And so the way we're going to do this is we're going to set this up as a long division problem. And we put the divisor on the outside and the dividend on the inside. And then we're going to do this a little bit differently than when we have numbers, because we only care about the x right now. So I want to see how many times does x go into 4x squared? Well, that's, I'm going to line this up, 4x. And so the 4x then gets multiplied to get 4x squared plus 12x. And when we do long division with numbers, we then subtract. And to subtract, we change the sign. So 4x squared minus 4x squared is 0x squared, which we can ignore. 7x minus 12x is minus 5x. And we bring down the plus 3. And we just start our process over. x goes into minus 5x minus 5 times. So that's going to give us minus 5x, this in green, minus 5x, minus 15, which we then subtract, giving us 0x, which we can then ignore, and a positive 18. And since x doesn't go into 18 at all, 18 becomes our remainder. As soon as our degree of the remaining piece is less than our leading degree, we have our answer. And we write this as 4x minus 5 plus 18 over x plus 3. And this is our answer from our long division. Now since we're working through long division, I want to show a couple more examples. Sometimes things get a little bit more complicated. For instance, what if I have 6x cubed minus 11x squared minus 7x plus 2, and I divide that by 3x plus 2. Well, same as before, we're going to set up our long division. We're going to put the numerator in the inside and the denominator on the outside. And then we're going to start by saying, what, how often, or how many times is 3x going to 6x cubed? And the answer is 2x squared. We then multiply that through, and subtract. So we change our signs. 6x cubed minus 6x cubed is 0x cubed, so we don't need to write anything. Minus 11x squared minus 4x is minus 15x squared, and we bring down the minus 7x. We repeat the process. 3x goes into minus 15x minus 5x times. Notice I'm lining up my x's on the columns. So this gives me negative 15x squared minus 10x, which we then subtract. So we change all the signs. gives us a 0x squared, a 3x, and we bring down the 2. 3x goes into 3x once. That gives us 3x plus 2. And when I subtract that, when I subtract something from itself, I get 0. So my answer is simply 2x squared minus 5x plus 1, because I have a remainder of a zero, so I don't need to write it. The last problem that I want to look at has a couple of things going on with it. 8 minus 15x plus x squared plus 4x cubed plus 3x to the fifth divided by 3 plus x squared. And you're probably already screaming at me, hey, it's backwards, it's not in the right order. And you're right, when we do division, we always have to write in order. But the other thing that's missing is notice there's no x to the fourth term. If there's no x to the fourth term, we need to include it. And the only way there's not one there is if it's a 0. So we write in a 0x to the fourth. And then just make sure you keep your signs in the right places. We put our x squared plus 3 on the outside. And then we just go through like normal. x squared goes into 3x to the fifth. 3x cubed times, which gives me 3x to the fifth plus 9x cubed. Notice we skipped the x to the fourth. So when we subtract, we get minus 5x cubed. 
Now, I would bring down the x to the fourth, but since it's a zero, I don't need to worry about it, so I'm going to skip it. And I'm going to bring down the minus 15x now. So x squared goes into minus 5x cubed, minus 5x times. And that's going to give me minus 5x cubed, minus 15x, which we then subtract, change all our signs, and add. Gives us a 0x cubed and a 0x. We then need to bring down our x squared and our 8. How many times does x squared go into x squared? It goes one time. So that gives us x squared plus 3, which we then subtract, giving us 0 and 5. And so my result is 3x cubed minus 5x plus 1 plus 5 over x squared plus 3. And we've now done long division with an x squared and with reverse order.